So there it is guys, this is a really nice little drone. It looks like it's an L109 Pro quadcopter. And the box said something different. So let's take a look at this camera. Move it up here so you guys can see. As you can see the camera has some limitations. It's got a little cable. It could only go this much down. And it on on the roll, it also has a limitation. It can only roll that much. So if this drone is wobbling in the wind, it will definitely have issues keeping the horizon straight. It's got two, it's got brushless motors. Little antenna right here. See that right there? Right here is where you insert your micro SD card. Right there. And here's the battery. So to take off the battery, you pull these two tabs here and you rotate up. So it kind of hinges on the back, as you can see. And it's got a charger port there. So with that said, let's take a look and see what we have in this little bag. Uh, we got propellers, we got a screwdriver. We got a USB-C charging cable. And it's got this little USB charger here, it's two amps. And so that's how we're gonna charge the battery. That's how the batteries charge. If I can get it in there, right? You can see that right there. There it is, the little charger. Okay. Let me put that down here out of the way. Let's get into the controller. Let's take a look at the controller. Yeah, so the controller feels a little plasticky. Uh, and here's the charging port, USB-C. So the little handles are nice. They're adjusted to your hands. So not bad at all. It's got a... Uh, GPS button, power button, and it looks like automatic takeoff, headless mode. I'm not sure what the lightning bolt is. And this, what I imagine, is some smart functions. I'll have to read the manual. Here, switching between camera and uh, movie mode. And here's your return to home. This roller here does the, the pitch of the camera, pitches the camera up and down, and it sets your speed. If I remember correctly, it was three speeds. I'm gonna blind you guys for a second. Yeah, so the antennas uh, are, are fake. So you don't even have to extend your antennas out, guys. There's no wires coming out to the antenna. The Xeno style props that you normally would see also with the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2 product line where you can screw everything in. And All right, so let's take a look at that. Oh, I see. So, the way that these are mounted on here, you're going to use one of the um, bigger circle ones to go on the bottom and a smaller circle one to go on the top. So I think this is... Get the camera to focus. Yeah, 
There you go. That's how they mate. Very interesting. Okay. Engineers solve problems different ways. So that is the complete setup here, guys. So you got a set of spare props. A set of screws to mount your props. And of course you got the brackets that hold it, the props in place. So, and here's the instruction manual. I have to go through the manual, charge it, read the manual. And now, uh, so it doesn't look that bad. Uh, it looks like pretty good. And then they have another manual for your software instructions right here. Good, so you can just go ahead and uh, download this directly to your phone. Actually, these manual guys, I really like this. Got these in pictures. Yeah, so very nice, very nice. Okay, all right, so that is it from the unboxes. I can't really wait to fly it, so it's time to charge it up.